Hello guys, welcome to another great episode of Call to Say So. Today teaching is all about the best prayer to use to defeat your unseen enemy is meditations. Meditations is the upper level. Why thinking is the lower level. Instead of you to be thinking about your situations, my brethren, learn to meditate. Meditate from morning to night. If you meditate on the word of God in your heart, every minute, every second, when you dream and pray before you go to bed, when you dream, you will see that you receive message and you will be protected and you will be able to defeat your unseen enemy. Meditation is so powerful. Now I understand why um, our father in the law, Prophet Yusha, used to emphasize on meditations. He used to encourage his followers to always meditate on the word of God without ceasing. Yes, I've seen the reason why he's been saying it. Truly, it's really powerful. If you are the one that like praying without meditating, your prayer will not be that strong. But if you learn to meditate before praying, Meditation in the Word of God. You can read your Bible early in the morning and meditate. It's fine. But you can pick some verses and record it in your heart. Keep repeating it in your heart without ceasing. Let's see from this book. Holy Spirit, take more of me. Give me more of you. This is from our Father in the Lord. It's a very powerful tool to use. Holy Spirit, take more of me. Give me more of you. Create in me a clean heart, O oh Lord. Renew a right spirit within me. Oh Lord, have mercy on me, son of David. All these words, you can choose any Bible verse of your choice. Even the Lord is my shepherd, she never be once. He makes me to light the angry passions. He restores my soul. He guides me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for his rod and his staff comforts me. You prepare a coming before me in the presence of my enemy. You are made to my hair with oil, my cup on it's over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. You can also be seeing this in your heart. I know his plan for me today is not of evil, but to give me a great future. I call to you, O oh Lord, Father, answer me and give me rest. I'm the head and not say, be saying this in your heart. Even when you are at work, keep saying it. When you are with your friends, keep saying it. Because sometimes in the friends around you, the devil can plant evil seed on them. There will be demon, then they can bring you down. That's when you see yourself doing the same, repeating the same thing. There is no promotion, there is no change, because you are surrounded with darkness. But if you are praying in your heart, the demon in them will be para will be powerless. That meditation will paralyze that they won't be able to stay from you. But there is no day that God doesn't shower his blessing on his children. But this unseen element, they are the cause of hardship, affliction, suffering, struggling. But when you learn to meditate on the word of God day and night, even at your office, at work, even when you are eating, for me, I can be eaten and be eaten. Holy Spirit, take more of me. Give me more of you. I need more of you, Lord. More of you. More of your faithfulness. More of your humility. Take away my pride. Give me more of your humility. Take away my failure. Give me more of your success. Take away my pain. Give me more of your healing. Take away my suffering. Give me more of your prosperity. You know, you can be saying different things that you, that you know that you want. You know your situations. So I've come to encourage you today to always meditate without season. Meditation is the upper level. Instead of you sitting down thinking about your situations, uh, why are you going? No, don't think about it. Just meditate. When you meditate on, on the word of God in your heart day and night, when you dream, you're going to have a prophetic message in your dream. You will see that your situations will be changing. Positive will be coming to you. You will not start seeing positive results. That's what I mean. So it's very important to meditate on the word of God. Don't get carried away. No matter how busy you are, let your heart become a prayer room. You can invite the Spirit of God in your hearts. You can't see God face to face with this is our normal eyes. It show our hearts by praying. You can open your spiritual eyes. So it's very important. Also remember in when Jesus Christ spoke to the uh, Samaritan woman, he said, worship God in spirit and truth. When Jesus Christ said, worship God in spirit and truth, it means the prayers of heart. You can also worship God in your heart. You can praise, you can sing psalm. Like me, I sing psalm. You can sing psalm. So that's sing, let for his for let not my trouble me. I bear in my body the mark of Jesus. Every trouble in my life, oh, 
they are rising again. Since power of me is broken, when Jesus went, I went. When he rose, I rose. Since power of me is broken. Whatever it is, Holy Spirit, take more of my job. Give my job more of you. Take more of my business. Give my business more of you. Take more of my disappointment. Give my disappointment more of your divine appointments. Take more of my poverty. Give my poverty more of your prosperity. Be saying this in your heart. We pass season. At the beginning, it might be struggle, but the more you say, the more it becomes register in your heart. Because this, our heart is where success is. is where failure is. If your return is always thinking negativity about what happened five years ago, this demon is there. It's going to be speaking to you. You have to rebuke it. Say, I, by the way, know that the, your thought is not a good thought. Rebuke it. Say, I reject this evil thought. This is not mine. I sanctify my heart. Sometimes you thought to myself, my heart, listen. I want you to focus on the word of God. Do not focus on anybody's business. Anything that will not add value to me. I reject it. Sometimes I'm disciplining my heart. I'm warning it. But it, because we always have two voices in our hearts. Divine voice with the spirit of God. The spirit of the evil spirits. If you just allow evil spirits to start bringing people wrong, their mistakes to you. Your life will just remain where you are. Always meditate on the word of God day and night. So this is my teaching today. Hope you will benefit from it. Learn to meditate and thank God later. That God has come to teach you this. God bless you and stay blessed. Shalom. Till we meet again or call to say so. Have a lovely day, guys. God bless you. Shalom.